Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Source Material. Here we are. I'm going to try to pronounce material just a little bit better because it's getting late. Source Material, the Source Material podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, Whose we are putting together. Shh, it's <laughs> Mark Radlich, by the way. It's been a joy to work with tonight. And we, we're going on our <laughs> – shut up, Ronnie. Well, you just had a nervous <laughs> breakdown. I wanted to point it out. <laughs> All right. This here is a bonus <laughs> – Bonus episode. The shit right I, here. I have, I have to. <laughs> gosh, I have to deal with. Yeah, now we got snorting on it. That's, that's that's how things break down here on the Source Material Podcast. When you try to put together an extra special, extra special bonus episode, and well, look, I'm, let's get down, let's get down to brass tacks, okay? We are going to be doing a bonus episode tonight uh, of another video game playthrough commentary. We're going to be watching a YouTube video of the arcade game from 1992 titled X-Men. So be prepared as I bring to you a panel. It's Mark Radlich. Hello. The, the man, the myth, the dictator himself. <laughs> I am not a dictator and my tone is not harsh. <laughs> Ah, no, his tone is not harsh. He says and thank you, you at the end of his again, email. He's going to punch you in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Ronnie Adams over here from the Screaming Boy podcast. Sir, uh, are, are you ready to discuss some X-Men? I released episodes. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it has been a landmark day. Mark, April, April 23rd, two episodes from Screaming Boy podcast have dropped, and I figured we ought to celebrate by doing a bonus episode tonight of Source and Material. you won't find another one for another six months. <laughs> Five episodes in the can, ready to go. Got to wait on them. Now, there's a third person who has joined us tonight, and he's being ever so gracious not to interrupt my intro. He joined us for our discussion on The Simpsons arcade playthrough and he's joining us tonight for our x-men arcade playthrough and that is robert winfrey robert winfrey i appreciate your at least uh, silence during my intro <laughs> that Look, i could thank you for civility is a dying art i just think one at any given podcast there should be one civil member and if it can't be anyone else, it might as well be me. <laughs> yeah, this fucking guy is civil. Have you heard him rip apart the uh, reviewers from Rotten Tomatoes? Anything but civil. I, I call bullshit. <laughs> no, no, no. I am perfectly civil. I am impassioned, but I am perfectly civil. Have I attacked any of them? Yes. You've called for their deaths. You, you called. <laughs> I remember the <laughs> call for someone's death. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There, were, there was beatings with fish, I think, involved I, yes. at one point. I have, I have in the past encouraged people to strike these morons with dead fish. That is very true. How does that equate to death? I Okay, you at least. They can you, be severely allergic to the fish. There you go. Thanks, Ronnie. If you know they're severely allergic to fish, smack them around with a dead chicken. Like, we're, come on, we're, guys. We're already, we're already off track. Oh, really? Really? <laughs> really? Really? Ah, uh, really. All right. So, Apology, Supreme Overlord. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. All right. So we're go what we're going to do is we've got a 40-minute playthrough to talk over. Uh, this is X-Men the Arcade Game. Came out in 1992 from Konami. Uh, we are on YouTube. Uh, so if you want to follow along, you're more than welcome to. Uh, we're also going to put this up on YouTube as a standalone video as we talk, and you can watch the video itself, play it before your very eyes. Or the YouTube publisher here by the name of Silenig, Silenig, S-I-L-E-N-I-G. You should be able to find that playthrough on there. And I'm going to count us down. We're going to get right into this because we've... By all every means. Everybody queued up at zero. Here we go. Three, two, one, Go. All right. Now, I have no idea what screens we're looking at here. I would assume that's – this is probably them turning on the game, and yeah, we're seeing it go through the checks. I think yeah. he actually has it time-stamped that the first stage starts at one thirty. if we want to jump ahead a little bit. I do not want to. Okay. <laughs> Bask in all... the visuals of arcade of – arcade, uh, Oh, yes. Nin 1992, we're talking 26 years ago. Hey, what's up, Magneto? This is... All right, so let's let's start with as we go through Wolverine in a brown suit here. Uh, oh, this is—I almost feel like this is a different soundtrack than I remember for this Dazzler? game. 
Yeah, Dazzler. 80s Dazzler, man. Yeah, I forgot she was on this game. X-Men. Oh, there's the sound I remember. Okay. Yeah, that's that's terrible. Hey, what's what's the time cue do you guys have? Because my, my whole screen froze. Oh, that would be uh, one minute. We are at 107, 108. Here comes Magneto with the Sentinels. If you want us to pause it, Mark, we can. No, I'm good. I see Magneto okay. with the Sentinels. I'm good. All right. Sentinels just blew the fuck out of something. One yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're with us. Okay. I got a serious kick out of that for, like, Magneto controlling the Sentinels somehow. The oh, yes. The, the voice acting quality. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And here we see Cyclops, uh, Colossus, who is already down. Yeah, Wolverine. <laughs> And Storm in her stripper outfit. Hey, better than Mohawk Storm. That's all I'm saying. I like yeah, this Mohawk is a Storm. little bit after. You would. This is They're after uh, punk and everyone buck. pops their Jeez, powers. everybody used their power at the same time. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's just horrible, horrible. No one survived that day. <laughs> <laughs> what the... T- Guys. The X-Men are just fucking up the town. There's just one button. So, Somebody the, the pushes town's them already in. screwed. They're trying to save it. <laughs> Yeah, Are it they? look like it's in the greatest shape. Oh, I, one of my favorite mechanic from this was getting guys down and then what, uh, because different, different guys had the ability ah! to do different things when to <laughs> downed opponents. Nightcrawler actually hops on them. It's kind of funny. Uh, oh, yeah, I remember that. He, in a precursor to my appreciation for actual fighters like uh, Kevin Lee or Khabib Nurmagomedov, Wolverine's ground and pound is actually pretty sick. I don't know. I think in this game I mostly use either Cyclops or Colossus. I either wanted to shoot people or beat them to death with a huge muscle guy. I had no use for Wolverine or Storm. <laughs> that sounds a lot like your current taste in movies. That would be correct. I swear, it looks like they're almost all being controlled by the same person. Like, they all move at the exact same time. That might Someone's be the case. Weird. <laughs> I mean, they're jumping all at the same time, attacking at the same time. That yeah, might there be might the case. be some weird thing with one guy controlling all the inputs. Oh, They've got it, yeah. They've got to be running. They could be running it through an emulator. I, I would assume that's probably what's going on here, like a Mame emulator. Yeah, it, but it's there's just every once in a while. Okay, I, I, I kind of get it. I got a severe kick out of the uh, Colossus's ability suddenly becoming like energy disruption. Yeah, around. I was going <laughs> to say I've never seen that before. I feel oh, like fire, uh, Pyro. I, I would say I feel like Pyro. Yeah, Pyro will turn you to toast. <laughs> To be fair, that's slightly better dialogue than he was given in X3. Fair enough. It's also better than, why should it goes well? <laughs> no, no, nothing is better than that. <laughs> I don't know, Pyro will turn you to toast? <laughs> okay, so maybe, yeah, I have no idea. All right, get down there and corner him. There you go. Whoop up on him! Whoop that ass. Boom. Ah, Pyro. Even in video games, you're always you're all relegated to just first boss status. You're a waste of space. <laughs> <laughs> it's a henchman. Any arcade memories on this game, guys? I, I mean, yes, when, it, when it was around, I played it. I, I enjoyed it. I, all these, like, four-player games that were big at the time, I was into. This, Turtle, Simpsons. Ronnie? Yeah, yeah, I played this. Winfrey, did you say you did, too? Oh yeah, I uh, well, I, growing up as a comic book fan, you know, somebody that wanted to wanted to read about comics and X Men was starting to get popular in the '90s. This was something oh, that, I was that, so uh, excited to see. Well, the X Men the X Men television series was pretty darn yeah, great. Yeah, I think this is just about when same the, time period. Yeah, cartoon series started, if not just a year or so before. While this is going on, I'm going to flip over to the wiki. I know you yeah, guys that, got that. Uh, the intro to that to the X-Men. Uh, just genuinely great bit of uh, like steel guitar work. Yep. Oh, look, it's an elevator, Winfrey. A different elevator level than this one, I think. This is, this is a really short... That's literally just an elevator, so now you go left instead of right. Is it now? There was a there was a recent X X movie, and I can't remember which X, movie it was. Was it Deadpool? Shut that up. had 
Just throw some more out there, Mark. <laughs> well, it had, it, somebody had their phone had that as a ringer. Oh, huh. that was Logan. Was yeah, it Logan? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. The only act, like the best one. Gosh, it was so good. Logan's great. It was okay. Mm -hmm. As opposed to Deadpool, which sucks. No, now, see, come no. on. No. Like, Deadpool sucks as a character, oh, you guys as a film, not, as an idiot. You guys haven't heard, heard his it. ridiculous epic Deadpool rant? Cannot the, wait till he has to suffer it, through it again. Hey, dude, hit, hit our two. Deadpool podcast turned one of my friends off of listening to any of my podcasts. <laughs> That's how bad that well, was. That was because of. Hang on, hang on. Tell the, if you're going to tell the story, remind them that it was because of you. Uh, yeah, right, he April felt like. I, yeah, he uh, once again my tone was too harsh. He felt that oh, I was. Way to go. He felt that I. He felt that I was bullying Winfrey. Oh, I, wow, I don't see that happening. Yeah, it was like Winfrey didn't like Deadpool, and I had the nerve to ask him why, because we were doing a podcast, and this is a discussion point. Why did you like this? Why didn't you like this movie? And there, I th and there were some points that he brought up that I that I, I had an issue with, and I debated him on it. That's our show. And my friend was like, "Yeah, you really beat up on that guy. Does he like not have a spine?" And I'm like, "Did what? Did you not listen to any other show that we've ever done?" So there, and th that he thought our intro was too long. He was just like, "You got it was more than ten seconds, and there was still no podcast, and I got bored." I was like, "Well, I can't. I'm, I'm sorry. You you have no attention span." <laughs> So it's really funny in this game when you hear Cyclops. Cyclops and Wolverine, they when they do their powers together, and you hear the... And then Wolverine is just pumping his arms. What's the sound again? Um, no. Yeah, that's, that's Colossus that he <laughs> that does the big kind of... Oh, did I say Cyclops? I meant growl. Colossus. What's that sound again? <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> On cue, the video game just gave it to us. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Woo! So I'm reading a little bit here in the wiki, and apparently... Wolverine, well, what are you doing? There's nobody there. We, <laughs> Again, it's one guy controlling all it of is, It has to be. That's why all the powers go off oh. all at once. Because he's hitting that one button. Yeah. Well, now we can't criticize some players for Game making play. a stupid move, because it's one dude. <laughs> and beat up the wall of lasers. Good job. <laughs> oh, yeah, they always have to blow up the wall of lasers. I mean, like, that goes yeah. back to Contra. But There's always like, a wall you, know, you have. That would be down. a fun playthrough watch. Contra. In Contra, you had guns against the Love Contra. Walls. So much love for Contra. Then yeah. I, like, that's one of those things that I, like, I loved as a kid, and you had to get the Konami code in, because otherwise there was no way you were beating it. And then I watch it at like a you know Games Done Quick event or something, somebody blows through it, and again, like 10 minutes without taking a single hit, I go, oh, I'm just the worst. <laughs> okay, I don't remember what the blob says, well, but I'm sure it was something funny. Nothing moves the blob. Oh, that's right. Nothing moves the blob. And for well, some reason, he has a spike. Morning star. Yeah, or a mace. <laughs> would be a mace. Yeah, that's not stars. something we usually see. And storm with her knife. I've never seen that that's before. No, no, either. no. That's a scepter. She's got the a scepter. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Why do all black people have? Comic, why why do all black people have to have knives, Jesse? <laughs> why do you have to do this bit every time we're on a show? Because it's Mark, funny. Mark doesn't know how to make a salient point, so he resorts to racism and name calling. <laughs> Whatever, I you're a salient so point. I hope this See? I hope this game was brought to us by a lot of Japanese people. <laughs> <at the end. laughs> of course, it's a it's a Konami game, like all. I mean, yeah, dude, really. uh, it's 37 minutes long. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Look, if the, again, if this were like four guys doing it appropriately, then this would take like significantly less time. You could shave like five to ten minutes off of this. <laughs> oh, because that makes it better. <laughs> Bonus! You're granted a special mutant power. Note that mutant power can be used only when the energy indicator is something or other. And he's having issues. He, yeah, he's got egg on his head. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, no, uh, Juggernaut and Magneto showed up and kidnapped them. Spilled his Kool Aid. Who's ever Juggernaut? Hey, that was Kitty Pride. What is the name of this? Not a mutant. What is the name of this island? Uh, uh, X Genosha, Genova. Well, if it's Genosha, it's Genosha. Is it Genosha? <laughs> if it's Genosha, it's Genosha. 
Yeah, I can't remember if it's Genosha or Genova. One of them's an island in the X Men universe. The other, it's is Genosha, a evil corporation in Final Fantasy Seven. The, it, Genosha for the, is an for the third time. It's Genosha. Hey, um, Jesse, Robert, I think I don't know. I'm not sure, but I think it's Genosha. It's Genosha. I, I don't know, man. Genosha was a populated island or like city, wasn't it? No, no, it was an island. Uh, mutants took it over. It was the first instance of them like trying to create a mutant colony. But I don't, but I really I don't think remember this, these dinosaur this people being on Savage it. Land. Yeah, I'm yeah, thinking this is Savage Land. land. They've, yeah, they they have clearly like m- merged Savage Land with Genosha for the sake of the game. Are but I wish Mark would unmute his mic. We could talk to him again. Are, are you uh-huh. sure it's Genosha? <laughs> I well, know. It's Genosha. It's Genosha. <laughs> I know ah, I'm not flowers. muted because Jesse's <laughs> laughing. I just want to. I just want to give flowers. you a kiss. Flowers are pretty gnarly. <laughs> Feed Ooh, me Seymour. Feed me all. Can I, I swear long. there's something all from that? Because if you feed me Seymour, I can grow up big and strong. That again. I haven't watched that in a long time. Yeah. I gotta wait a while yeah, before I can show that one to my daughter. She's gonna freak out if I show her a man eating fucking plant. <laughs> the original's <laughs> better. The original? Okay. With, yeah. uh, Jack um, Nicholson? What? Jack Nicholson, yeah. Yep. I've never seen that one. I've only seen the Rick Moranis one. Yeah, I was gonna say, I've never seen... Uh, the Rick Moranis is a musical. The other one's, uh... Not. Not. Oh, I would only it's watch It's still kind of comedic, but it's not a musical. Dude, the musical's awesome. Yeah, I like the musical, too. You're the kind of person who likes Hamilton, aren't you? Who, me? Mark, with his taste in music. Well, yeah. I've never seen Hamilton. Racist. How does Risk that have to do racist? with it? <laughs> I love Seriously, you. what does race have to do with that? I love how just, how, how Ronnie has a stroke whenever I do that. <laughs> just trying to it figure out what it is. It my blood pressure. <laughs> The best was when, the best was when I when, when I said something and, and I'm like what you know and I really didn't say anything wrong and Ronnie still reacted I'm like what is your problem and he's like you make me nervous <laughs> you know I don't know what you know round collapse from under them because now he shoots laser beams so laser that dude, beams that right there I oh, believe these was the quote those quotes. things were terrifying oh look it's those an elevator worse down here comes and that's the Yeti. a Wendigo no it's a Wendigo, Wendigo. I don't know. Uh, I am Magneto, Master of Magnet, and welcome to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the voice acting and translation in this game just absolutely top notch. You might even Are say they that. Wendigo? You might, yes. I think so. Yes, Genosha. Hey, um, <laughs> I think that Wendigo yeah, shows Genosha. up later. <laughs> you, might, you might even say uh, that Magneto is the pain cura. Huh? Oh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> 20 dislikes. No. Hashtag baby metal. <laughs> you know, I, 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 got, I have to get my brother out here to explain to you why he thinks baby metal is trash. Mm. Well, don't have him put up a YouTube thing because then he'll get a billion dislikes. I was going to say, have him listen to our podcast. Of, uh, he just uh, might think we agree with him. Somehow. <laughs> not, the, not the actual Metal Hammer of Doom ones. Those were fine. No, not those. No. So I started playing uh, this role-playing game called Monster of the Week, and yep. where I'm this doing say like fatal. where I'm doing the the game, uh, I'm the GM. I started doing research on cryptids, just to have them okay. you know, for them to have monsters. And I did a little research on the real Wendigo, and horribly misrepresented in popular culture. Yes, they are. Wendigo, uh, let me see if horrifying. I can remember this. Actually, Wendigos are the they're usually represented as being tall and skinny. They're the they're the like restless bodies slash spirits of people who were starved to the point of cannibalism and now like exist in the shadows of the wilderness. They have like human yeah. voices. They can call you towards your own doom. Yep. But yeah, you you become a Wendigo when you are starved and then eat human flesh. It's a, such an obs- it's such a massive corruption of what it means to be human that right. you are then cursed to forever be in that state until someone kills you and killing Wendigos is kind of a pain in the butt okay so I don't think I've ever made it this far in X-Men by the way but I'll oh, tell yeah. you I beat this game uh, too but I'll tell you what they've got more fucking robots in this game than they did in the entire like Star Wars prequel trilogy <laughs> my goodness well sure because you you can't have them killing humans 
It was right. the dumbest thing ever to have. Like, this is like my biggest gripe with the uh, the cartoon. You got Wolverine with his metal claws, and he can't ever use them on another living thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was watching Community. Uh, I finally got up to watching that show, and they did a whole animated uh, episode where Joel McHale's character, Jeff, is dreaming that he's in the G.I. Joe episode, <laughs> and they're all talking to each other, and he's a G.I. Joe. He looks like Duke, and he's like, yeah... Uh, they have ridiculous code names and everything. He says, I'll take care of this. And he just starts murdering Cobra uh, soldiers. <laughs> they're like, no, you, you can't kill people. And like, Cobra Commander's like, oh my god, he's killing people. <laughs> Robot Chicken did a similar thing where like they had a, uh, a guy show up in, in G.I. Joe. Wave. And he... Um, yeah, and he like trips or whatever, and they call him like stumbles or whatever, and so yeah, yeah. so then he joins Cobra, and he just starts fucking assassinating GI Joes everywhere. <laughs> fumbles, that was what his nickname was. He's like, it was always Fumbles. So we're in the we're in an underground cave here. Anybody? I mean, uh, are, are we? getting to Magneto's lair? Is that what we're trying to do? Sort of. They're, I can't, they're I, trying this, to find Maggie. Actually, no, no, this is, <laughs> this is actually, I think, set up for them rescuing Kitty. Kitty, Maggie, there, whatever. Oh, whatever. look, it's an elevator. I hope they all get knocked out and have a dream sequence. <laughs> in I mean, God ask and you shall receive. <laughs> Colossus dreams. He's... I might have been misremembering uh, the elevator level on this. I might okay. be ascribing... A, a, a different elevator level to this game. It's well, been a while since I've read an actual like X Men comic book, and I picked one up the other day. And apparently, Colossus and Kitty Pride are engaged now. Oh yeah. Oh, I can't oh, keep track oh, of all geez. these relationships. All we know is that Wolverine. Col oh yeah, and, Cy and Cyclops is uh, this massive, like, cel uh, narcissistic jackass. He's dead now. Well, he. Wait, no, wait, hang a on a second. Back he up. Came back, up. back from uh, Cyclops is with Kitty Pride because I thought Kitty Pride was with Star Lord. Colossus is with Kitty Pride again. She was with Star Lord. After one they of broke them came out. back from the dead. The Kitty Pride is a whore. <laughs> so anyway, uh, don't. How dare you, slut shame? I'm fairly you? certain. <laughs> fairly certain. Uh, the Cyclops that we have now is from the. All new X Men, the ones that went back in time or came forward. Oh, in time. yeah, Baby Cyclops. Yeah, is what I call him. Yeah, Baby yeah. Cyclops. Is this anything like Baby Darkseid? Yeah, no, <laughs> no, no. He's, a little, <laughs> he's a little bit uh, more advanced. And but, uh, and yeah, what kidding. the hell is that? Is that is that Megatron? What is that? I, I don't know this guy. I the, I'm genuinely the, not is that supposed, sure who this oh, is. That supposed to be I'm the Silver to the Samurai? Place, Hold on, I'm looking. No, it's Galvatron. No, Master Mold. Oh, Master what the hell's mold. a Master yeah. Mold? Really? He is. The, oh, the, he is the, like the progenitor of the Sentinels. He's the yeah. uh, the sentient AI that cre that allows them to be created. He and births constantly. them forth. The greatest enemy to to uh, Tylex, if I remember correctly. The uh... <laughs> I feel like you're just <laughs> making up words now. I mean, the sad thing is you can't actually be sure that he, whether he is or not. <laughs> His greatest enemy is a dehumidifier. <laughs> I think, don't most representations of Master Mold have him as a giant rather than something yes. human fledged? Yeah, I think so. Listen, this is a video so game. He should have been a, so he should have been a giant boss. <laughs> ah. I, I put a humidifier and a dehumidifier in the same room and let him fight it out. But, um, <laughs> wait, let's watch the air conditioner fight the heater. All right. All right. Don't forget to tip your waitresses. I'll be here all week. <laughs> so there was Dazzler and Nightcrawler, and they haven't done shit in this game. Nah, I they don't think they I weren't selected. You only have four slots. Could you be Dazzler? Yes. I would totally Quick be Dazzler. Mark, make a four slot joke. What? <laughs> <laughs> Out of all the references. He missed his cue. He missed his cue. <laughs> like, he could have made was... a four slot joke like that, but nope. That was a rainbow, like a slow pitch softball, knock it out. Of the <laughs> I have park. no idea what you guys are talking and about. And he whiffed. You're supposed to <laughs> yes, say something like, did. "I've got four slots for you two or something along those lines. I don't. Well, why Jesse, would you, are you trying to make some sort of poorly. sexual innuendo about slots? How many slots? slots do you have, Mark Radlich? I don't have any slots. I'm not a video game. Right. 
just for some reason <laughs> I, I really honestly pictured uh, Mark monsters are terrifying, Mark answering it with like Groucho glasses and a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> Let me slip out of these wet things into a dry martini. I got as many slots as you need. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, it's an elevator. Hey, it's no, no, uh, it's Emma Frost. <laughs> The dialogue is so bad. Yeah, it, I believe that's Emma Frost. It is. I don't well, know. she has no clothes on and she's a blonde, so yeah. Yep, there so we was go. Janu- is it just me or was January Jones the worst? She was <laughs> not a good Emma Frost. I mean... Was that who played her? She was fine. In uh, first class, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, who played Mark, her? Mark, general attraction to the woman is immaterial to her performance. <laughs> she had nice boobs. She did fine performance. You see, those are not at all the same things. They're the same did you, thing. Did you just say your she attempts did to conflate them. performance? <laughs> what was that? Did you just yes, say she, she did. did? Okay, all right. Because <laughs> he was quite mesmerized <laughs> by her boobs, couldn't learn how to. Hey, speak. hey, this right. may this may come as a complete shock to you guys, but I objectify women on this podcast. Did you know that? Not in real life, and yes, I did. <laughs> not in real life, no. I'm gonna say that was going to get annoying. These things. <laughs> <laughs> the X-Men just got ran over. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> Did drive-bys are a thing. Hit and run. Uh, it only went better if it had been like a big Mack truck or something. No, I kind of enjoyed him. You know. Yeah, now uh, oh. you, you got to watch where you're walking. You can walk off the edge down there. Watch that first. <laughs> the most step. annoying thing in the world, but yeah, you can do it. Watch that first step. It's a Lulu. Okay, I, I just figured out that the robots look an awful lot like Samus from uh, Metroid. Yeah, that's, that's uh, they do. They they do, just a bit. Although I'm pretty sure there was already a Samus X Men crossover. Don't get my hopes up. Why it'll suck. <laughs> <laughs> that's, crossover. That's right, Winfrey. Everything is te- everything stinks. Everything is terrible. Not everything. Everything is just <laughs> the vast majesty. This should be Master Mold in the background. Good lord! Oh my yeah. god! Oh, ah. Reavers! <laughs> the Reavers are sentinel that is vomiting Reavers. <laughs> like yep. you do. It's just looks I like w- it disapproves about everything. I, I I once went out drinking with my wife back when we were dating, and I vomited Reavers. Oh, that's yet she still put up with you. And now, oh. for some reason, Juggernaut has a bazooka. Because <laughs> why not? Why shouldn't well, the Juggernaut fair, have a bazooka? Well, to be fair, hang on, hang on. To be fair, Juggernaut is not a mutant. So you keep saying, nerd. Yeah, but he's an he's unstoppable not. force. I mean, he doesn't need guns. When's the last no, time you've ever fucking seen Juggernaut have a gun in first of the all, comic? First of all, let's not be making a, a, a judgment on who needs a gun and who doesn't, you commie. All right? If the oh, ju- whoa. If, if, right if the, if the bare arms. Sorry, if, Juggy. I didn't realize you yeah, were Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, that's hey, one thing hey, Mark hey, decides hey, to Guns hey, don't kill one. people. Juggernauts do, okay? He can have a gun <laughs> if he just, wants let's one. Let's keep the references not, you know, let's not name names and, and parties, okay? <laughs> keep them vague. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Why not? You afraid of the communists? <laughs> no, I'm talking about, he's like, I didn't realize Juggernaut was a Republican. <laughs> We need Calandris on here to get a communist perspective. No, we don't. <laughs> that would be the worst. Like, no. you, you can't even hold a conversation uh, with a communist. No, first of all, I, their internal logic just no, no, falls hang apart. Hang on, if, if we had Josh is on my short list of people who I have to behave whenever they're on here, and that's no fun for me. So forget it. I love Again, communism. Josh. Not fun. That dude is my. Brother. In addition to you know. Historically, I mean, as, as a political idea, communism has killed more people than like the plague. Whoever got Winfrey started on this, I fucking hate you. Um, <laughs> yeah, Jesse. <laughs> hey, there's Charles Xavier. Just yep. point that out. <laughs> oh, fuck it's uh, wait a second. What? What? Oh, oh yeah. swerve, bro. Swerve, bro. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Where's Pat when we need him? All right. No, you were starting to say jo- Josh Calandros is your brother and your brother and your other. Go on. No, I, love that, off the, I love that guy. Off the edge again. Uh, he will, shut up. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> I love him to death, and, and you know he's, going, he's my friend for life, but I will not po- talk politics with him. That's a bad idea. Yeah. 
There's quite a few people I've met through the Rattledge and Broadcasting Network that I would not talk politics with. So, speaking <laughs> of X Men, uh, <laughs> I make oh, it. I make it that, that wounds me, Jesse. Not, that wounds me. <laughs> I won't talk politics with just about anybody, but. <laughs> oh, uh, I still remember our Flintstone show and talking our talk about uh, what was it, polyamory? That was my favorite. I've, I, I'm, free if you, I've you, never you felt free. I've never felt someone sweat through a podcast before like Ronnie did. <laughs> we should get Winfrey on the Snagglepuss uh, upcoming Snagglepuss episode. We absolutely should not. <laughs> What's Snagglepuss? Good. Answer. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> they took uh, a beloved childhood cartoon and ruined it. You know, wait, Is do you really back, not? Uh, no, wait, you, wait, wait. Michael Bay wrote a comic book. Uh, yeah. Do you really know we, to stop? Do you really not know who it is, what a Snagglepuss is? Exit I'm stage. Big. I've heard that. I have like heard that conjunction. Uh, that I've heard of it. He's I the, don't have a frame of reference. He doesn't know about the cartoon even. <laughs> it, hang on, wait, 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 wait. Was it a crappy Hanna Barbera yes. animated one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, that's that why I have. Wait, heard wait. Of everybody, it. stop. I will put up with a lot of stuff, but I will not. I will not stand for someone calling Hanna Barbera crappy. Well, then you <laughs> haven't done a podcast hey. with Winfrey. Oh, oh goodness! <laughs> and on Magilla this episode Grilla. of Winfrey hates these are everything. terrible things. <laughs> didn't Hanna, what didn't was... Hanna Barbera do that like obscenely stupid, uh, like Loch Ness monster one? So when was the last time we referenced the video game we're supposed to be commentating on? I'm just curious. Mm, yeah. How many minutes, minutes is a bit? Okay, we're in good. politics. We're in the comics. Okay, hang on, hang on. Who is when, this guy? I, because, do, I, I genuinely don't know who this is. We, we, uh, are we on. talking Snagglepuss again or, or what's on the screen? Because I'm desperately trying to what's get back to what's screen? on the screen. Oh, thank God. Um, so they're fighting <laughs> like Egyptian zombies. Dramatic much? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Your mom's dramatic. Um, yeah. <laughs> what do you rep today? And they and they say, you know, that legitimate banter and reasoned discussion are dead. <laughs> they do. Yeah. Uh, who Jesse, you were researching the bosses on this, I right? Was. Uh, well, I don't know if these are I don't These are bosses, but I don't think they're anybody special. No, they uh, just seem to be like random Egyptian shit. We've got Egyptian We've seen most of sight. what they say. Or see see what the most yeah, let's try again. We've seen most of what they've listed on the wiki. Well, I've, these I've guys are a royal pain to beat. I mean, like all three of them come out. You only have that slight delay before the se- like the first two. Then there's a delay before the third one. It's a rough fight. That's a really rough fight. What is this? The fucking Simpsons? It was like the guys are made of stone, and he blew up like he was made of fucking oil. And there's it's the Professor- last action hero, man. And then there's the, and then there's Professor Ave- Xavier with fucking eggs on his head again. <laughs> Mind it's just meant as a representation of his uh, telekinetic of his it's a representation. Wow. Oh, asteroid M. Yeah, it's a, now we're heading to asteroid M. It's, 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 it's a representation of his breakfast. It looks like it looks like there's a know. small storm <laughs> on these eggs. <laughs> I mean, I mean come on, Xavier's a well-known <laughs> vegan. He would never eat eggs. Sure, he would. <laughs> he eats quail eggs. With the, with, with, wait, what? <laughs> so. Why am I not surprised that there's probably a vegan out there who's used that line of logic? I don't eat eggs, but I eat quail eggs. Not the, uh, they don't count. They're not animal byproducts. What is this mythical quail you speak of? <laughs> you, you just make up an animal. This is just like quails. Seems, seems ridiculous. Uh, Island M, by the way. It was Island M, according to the wiki, okay. that they were on. Okay. It's Genosha. That was like, not uh, it not that was like 20 minutes ago, and I'm so over it. <laughs> oh, are you so over it? <laughs> so over it. I am so, so 20 minutes ago. Reapers are just being cloned, apparently, because they are... Oh, yeah. The same one. Yeah, it's the same <laughs> one. one. Which I think that actually they is... Have, the they clearly different. have different colored shirts. How dare you say they're the same? Yeah, don't be racist. <laughs> Oh, oh and you're, you're over the Genosha thing, but you can say that <laughs> ten thousand times in the podcast. Here comes the here comes the. I think this is the boss rush. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's an all star cast here. Oh look! Yeah, yeah, they all come back. There's Boobs McGee this over suck. there. This fight sucks. Yeah, that would not be fun. Hey, you thought all these guys? Remember how hard it was? We're going to stick all three of them on the screen against you now. And they're imagine but, playing one one person here. But you know, just playing it, yeah, one but guy. you know who's missing from this is fucking Pyro. 
Even the gets left, and, and it gets left out of the boss rush. <laughs> Pyro sucks. <laughs> it's like they were picking him out, and he's like, "What about me? Shut up and sit down." <laughs> oh, you ride you. the bench there, flame boy. <laughs> Pyro's a terrible character. Everything stinks. Colossus energy. Uh, it's weird. I know. <laughs> like he's got his dick caught in a zipper. Master Bolt and Juggernaut. Jeez. Oh, good, you got uh, the oh, Bolt and Juggernaut. Face. The Megatron's yeah, back. Juggernaut with his bazooka. <laughs> I'm in the wrong damn game. <laughs> I like how he braces himself like he's going to knock him back. <laughs> Take the knee when shooting it. I better hold on. I'm, you know. <laughs> And right. here's Magneto. <laughs> Welcome to die, bitches! What, oh my gosh, what is happening on the screen right now? They're progressing without actually beating everyone behind them, so they've just uh, stacked yeah, up a significant number there. of waves. Oh my goodness. That does not... That did not sound healthy. Why does everything have to explode so much? <laughs> Again, this 80, is like 90s. a Simpsons thing. I really want Magneto to explode when he beats him. I hope he will. so. Please let him bur burst into flames. Dude, it's the 90s. Every Everyone has impossibly ripped bodies. Guns are bigger than necessary, and everything blows up when you look at it funny. Why do you Rob Liefeld drew stuff. There is, Why do you no hate pouches. guns, you peace, Nick? I see no pouches. Oh, look, it's Mystique. Oh, it's Mystique. Oh, oh and she didn't burst into the flames. Swerve, bro. Swerve, wait, wait, wait. The real question is, uh, well, yeah, well, wait a second. Yeah. Why does his head look like an onion? <laughs> because Rappa the Rappa has graphics. made an appearance. <laughs> Here we go. Here's actual Magneto. Uh, swear we're we're uh... going to play. Uh, we're going to get to play Professor Xavier. Uh, is the dude, you know, sloth from Goonies available? <laughs> what Why is, is going Magneto on? laughing? Because he's Magneto. Because he, you hit him and it doesn't hurt, so he laughs at you. So he's fucking Raven Listen, from WCW? We we played, in high school, we played the Marvel role-playing game, and somebody said that, you know, I have Storm and I can beat anybody with him. You just told the story. <laughs> Did Robert hear it? <laughs> I don't think so. All right. <laughs> Ronnie's sussing out who listens to the podcast. <laughs> I heard earlier. <laughs> uh, boring. I've already heard the story. Go ahead, you know, Johnny. I really... <laughs> you know, you, you know. suck, Mark Radlich, and you too, Jesse Starcher. Uh, go You're ahead, on the list Ronnie. now, Starcher. <laughs> Tell us the story. All right, no, go ahead. screw you all. <laughs> You tell, don't deserve my awesome story. Tell the story about how the guy pulled a plane out of the sky and hit Storm with it. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> like, like right now, there is a burning fury in my soul. You know what I wanted to so Ronnie. Was, so when I was listening to you tell that story on a different podcast, first my th first thought is, hey, I played that game too when I was a kid. My dad was my dungeon master. <laughs> Oh, back, listen to oh, no, another podcast. Shut up. <laughs> and how'd that go, Mark? <laughs> oh, what the uh, when we played it? When yeah, fine. your dad's the DM. He was pretty good. I bought that in '93 or '94 in Florida on nice. vacation. Well, this guy is not good. Like he, he's died. He has died more to Magneto than he should have. <laughs> They're having seizures on the, uh, the characters are all yeah, There happy. really did need to be a warning on the top of this game. <laughs> they induce seizures. Yeah. You get a warning before you be on this podcast. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, look, look, Mark yeah. ruins all things fun, all right? I'm surprised. I ruin notice. all things fun. I do a podcast with you almost every Tuesday, but I ruin all things fun. Okay. Sorry. Yes. You see, I just say things are stupid. You actively ruin other people's fun. <laughs> oh, I might did they explode. Beat him? Oh yeah, no, he finally. Just, no, no, the whole thing's the whole thing fucking blew up the whole <laughs> asteroid. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, 
That makes you know, sense. I probably I probably could have had a good joke for the you know planet exploding there, but Mark would have said he heard it on another <laughs> podcast. Oh, don't be sore. Ain't mad. The evil has just begun. The struggle of X Men. I would have read that to everybody out there listening. I'm sorry. You don't uh, want it. They don't care. <laughs> Nobody cares. Uh, this is horrible commentary. My dog. I like the comic strip ending here. Uh, looks pretty neat. Mark, would you like to read the credits as they go across the screen? <laughs> he would, but he already heard him on another podcast. <laughs> no, no, Mark refuses to acknowledge the existence of people with uh, names that sound like this. Wouldn't the no. funnier joke have been that he already did that joke on a previous podcast where I where I don't want to read Japanese names? You totally you do. just missed. I was on the podcast when he refused to. <laughs> you just missed a composer. You by did the it name. on the Casual Heroes. You when, like tried what? to make like poor Chris was there struggling with <laughs> the pronunciation of some Japanese wrestlers, and he was like, "Don't even try. They're not people." Oh. <laughs> First of all, Casual Heroes. That was like fifty years ago. Jesse, what what was the composer's and name? It was now? another podcast, though. The the I'll tell you what. You pronounce this S as in Sam F. As in Frank, U-K-A-M-I. Shurigara? How did you get that out of what he just... <laughs> I wasn't really listening. I just heard S. Are we Are we done now? Is this the end of this game? It's the oh, end of the yes. game, yes. Can, can um, we go that, now? <laughs> <laughs> that game is genuinely not as good <laughs> as I remember it. Like I had some serious rose-colored glasses about that, I think. Yeah, that was... Uh, okay, well, hey, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we just... <laughs> Much like everyone who thought Deadpool was good, if they watched it a second oh time, Oh, my they God, you wet blanket. Shut up. Go ahead, Jesse. Uh... I mean, I, no, no, I can actually prove that about Thor Ragnarok, though. Yeah, he he, he knows, but he already heard it on another podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah, and you'll hear it again on Tuesday. <laughs> When I bring up how much the joking from Thor Ragnarok has destroyed elements of the MCU and that huh? everyone decided, hey, it's a good idea to have people joke around in front of Thanos. I'm in big, I mean, trouble. He's about to... I'm in big I... trouble with Ronnie now. Big trouble. <laughs> I'm wondering what this noise is, but it's it's gone on to Aliens, the playthrough of Aliens. So I was like really worried that I was having a stroke or something. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Your all hatred right. of Mark drove you to a mild aneurysm because I know... Right. <laughs> I don't, hate Mark. Just, I don't hate Mark. I just, you know, don't think what he has to say is important because I already heard it on another podcast. I'm not going to. I swear. <laughs> there will be. I, I, I've, I've never farted into a mic. I will do it right now. I need you guys to stop talking. Listen, man, that is your mic. <laughs> what you do with it on your time is, is your business. To be Our, fair, I'm pretty sure I have heard the sound of farting into a microphone on another podcast. Never, never, never. Uh, so, okay, ladies and gentlemen. We'll go ahead and do the plugs then. Are we Are we are done? trying to get out? Are is we, that what you're trying to do? You're trying to do the outro? I don't gonna, know if like, I should. I, th- I really don't know. I think. It's like, ask Mark how much I step all over his outro. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Instinct. All right. I, now we're done. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> thank goodness. Ah, oh, listeners. We apologize. No, we don't. Okay. Look, go give the Rattlich in Broadcasting Network Facebook page a like to stay up on top of all the great podcasts that we have to offer. We oh, have no. all sorts of. Yeah, you can. You don't have to. If you don't want to, trust me, it's your choice. That mean. That shouldn't or report that. us for. You can report us for being insensitive, and then the hyper liberals at Facebook will shut us down. That could happen. Could very well happen. You never know. I, I'm telling you what. We have all sorts of Probably great content back. on the rat. Fucking <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Uh, we we want your business come on over give us a like stay up on top of all those podcasts that we have we have all sorts of stuff we got mma (laughs) screaming boy podcast we have robert winfrey who gives us the mma lowdown throwdown uh yeah thank you and then mark radlich the ever offensive patriarch of the <laughs> Rattlich and Broadcasting Network. Uh, I would tell you where you could follow me on Twitter, but I'm not <laughs> subjecting myself to that. I'm turning it over to Mark Rattlich to tell us what, you know, it, it, plug whatever you want to do. And then I, I want to think of a, of a few cute fucking things to say as you try to get through your plugs. <sighs> 
It's my bit. Don't steal it. Uh, yeah, that's right. Don't step on Winfrey shit. You gotta get his shit in. All right. Be well, be safe, I can't and behave. Tell if it's really mad or not. All right, guys. Be well, be safe, and behave. Go. Oh, me? Oh. Yeah, go, Ronnie. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Uh, yeah. Are you actually recording? I've ever seen yeah. in my entire <laughs> life. Good. Go ahead. No, no, no. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Ronnie, just do your plugs, man. Uh, Screen Boy Podcast, iTunes, Stitcher, tune in, uh, yeah, tune in radio, and Brad Electric Broadcast Network, Facebook. Uh, yeah, we, we do all the social media, so take a look at it. And that's it. I'm completely done for the night. Robert Winfrey. Uh, you can find me most Sundays hosting the 411 Ground and Pound radio show. This week, there will be no show because the UFC's taking a couple of weeks off. We'll be back on the 6th. Make sure I remember this correctly. Yeah, the 6th of May to preview UFC 224. It's a pretty terrible card. Uh, this last week, we reviewed UFC Fight Night 128 and all the associated news therewith. We just talk a lot of, you know, what goes on in the world of mixed martial arts, review fights, preview fights, and try not to kill each other. Because, I mean, we couldn't really, given the geographic disparity between the three of us who are usually on the show, but metaphorically speaking. You can also find me most Tuesdays hosting Damn You Hollywood, where I am suffered... Ah, it's the wrong words. Where Mark Radlett subjects me to the worst in cinematic blockbusters. Uh, then he tries to tell me why I'm wrong. It doesn't usually work because I'm more often than not, I am correct and he is wrong about the quality of those films. He just can't actually admit it without having some severe cognitive dissonance pertaining to how he lives his life. <laughs> and then we yell at critics Eat for being that, Mark. at their jobs. <laughs> Huh. And then we yell at critics for being terrible at their jobs because, boy, are there some – there are some shockingly bad critics out there, and we're just happy to call them out on it. Uh, there will not be one this Tuesday. This Tuesday, Mark is doing a TV party for Lost in Space. Uh, I mean, I think it would only be appropriate no, if the episode not. never went up. Oh, what are we doing on – what are you doing on Tuesday then? Legends of Tomorrow. Ugh, also terrible. Uh, Wednesday oh. will be. I know. Wednesday I, will be. There's uh, no talking to him, Jesse. He's I, 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 I say nothing. I say nothing. I just make noises. <laughs> uh, Wednesday will then be lost in space. No, it won't. <laughs> really? What are you doing on Wednesday? Listen, uh, go, don't go. try to schedule things for him. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Wednesday, I'm doing the Foo Fighters, and there may or may not be a Metal Hammer of Doom without me. Okay. So I think it'll, it will be DC's Legends of Tomorrow because Warner Brothers Television. That's a, well, Is that on the CW then? I can't yes. remember what station it's on. Yeah. Okay. Crappy CW shows because there's, there's a ton of them. Like Arrow. It's not good. And The Flash. Also not really good. Biting my lip. <laughs> you want? Okay. No, no. Here's oh, the here we don't. fucking go. I really don't want to. <laughs> You want to get wasted watching The Flash? Take a drink every time he runs into someone who then lifts him up by the throat. Because, seriously. <laughs> um, every week, guys. So this anyway, that, anyway, they'll be talking week. about that. So if you happen to like Legends of Tomorrow, again, I don't. But if you do, let's tune in, listen to them talk about it. It should be a lot of fun. Yeah, no one would have picked Next it up that you don't like the CW shows. Absolutely. You're very subtle about it. Uh, I mean, I could be I could be more brazen about it if you'd prefer. <sighs> <laughs> what's next <laughs> I'm letting Mark contemplate me being more brazen about this is all um, next Tuesday Mark and I will be reviewing Avengers Infinity War I am looking forward to it I, I am uh, no you're not re- <laughs> no I, I genuinely am because Thanos is, look Thanos is going to kill people as long as that actually happens I will be okay with it I, I am- I'll drink tea and eat biscuits with him <laughs> <sighs> Why would they probably will, or they'll make jokes about it, or not? The, not not actual biscuits. So I'm talking like the British ones that are supposed I know. to be called cookies. I, I, I got your reference. Why are you being racist against British people? I knew it. <laughs> a race. I knew it. British uh, is not a race. Uh, <laughs> nationality. Mark was just raised by an extraordinarily liberal person in New York and thinks everything is a race. Down to Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> He's accused me of being racist against Mark Wahlberg and Brock Lesnar. Is this, when I did this turn that. into Robert Winfrey's fucking therapy session? That and it's only his issues dealing with me. Uh, no anyway, other, so you, no other outlet, sir. You, you do can this tune to him. To, do you understand? You can tune in to hear us review Infinity War. It'll be interesting. I think again, I haven't seen it yet, but Mark and I will review it we'll talk about it then we'll talk about how much money it's going to make it's going to make a lot of money and then yell at critics for being bad at their jobs because we can always find a few of them there's always some of them who are just terrible at their jobs 
And yet, it's, and somehow they still keep their jobs. Like this is what's shocking. It's kind of the same people over and over and over again. <laughs> I should have gone longer with my plugs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, your plug should consist of at least three editorials. That's how the, that's how Robert at works. At least, come on, at least three editorials. <laughs> In con- uh, but that will be it for me, Mark. What are we doing after Infinity War? I can't remember. Uh, eventually, Deadpool and Solo. Ugh. Yeah, my like my my desire to live will basically end in the next three weeks. So okay, Charlie Brown. <laughs> Glad we got Robert Winfrey on a show before he promptly kills himself before the Marvel movies complete. Uh, seriously, the thought of like having to sit through another Deadpool movie followed by a, the Solo movie followed by there's something awful after that too. Ant Man and the Wasp. Uh, I, What's after that? There's like there's one more within that within Jurassic the next like World. six weeks. That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So tune in to watch me to listen to me slowly descend towards suicidality again. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, oh. that's it for me, Mark. Did I anything else you would like to plug that I didn't I cover? I there? need to call somebody for you. <laughs> <laughs> you can try, dude. Nobody cares. <laughs> Oh, jeez. My God, man, I want to hug you. Oh. But, I mean, seriously. No. I'm averse to human contact. Please don't. <laughs> I, just, uh, I, just, I just didn't want the podcast you. to end this way, damn it. <laughs> and, and whisper Jesse, to you. everything ends this like, way. Who hurt you? Who hurt you? <laughs> Uh, no one actually. Like, Please, it's weird. Don't my ask. Psycho- no, I'm not. Psycho- I'm not asking that the real question. I'm not asking the real question. I don't actually have like a single traumatic incident that. Makes uh, me uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, motherfuckers. I just, I just want to say after <laughs> Please. years, after years of doing podcasts with Robert Winfrey, you guys are just getting a smidgen of what I've been dealing with <laughs> and what I've learned not to do. It's so true. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm taking us out of this motherfucker. Here we go. You promise? Uh, yes. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that is Robert Winfrey. Over there is Mark Radlich. Ronnie Adams. He's ready I'm to get ready. out of here. I have done just about put a pencil in my eye. I see you. There's better ways to do that. Just for the record. Uh, no, no, have a good one. Have a good one. Bye bye. <laughs>